Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Shir Number Four in honor of Rabbi Balei Simcha, Mishpacha Kol, Mishpacha Kenzman, Mishpacha Myers, celebrating the uh, Smachot this week. And the question of this Shir is, who are the most important people under the Chupa? Of course, besides the Hatan of the Kala, which people really constitute the essential part of the wedding? So it's interesting. We have people who read the Ketuba, we have the Masad the Kedushin, we have those who get the Shevet Baruch, we have the witnesses. Which ones play a crucial role and whose uh, level of Hashivut is just indispensable? The answer clearly is the witnesses, the Eidim. person reads the Ketuba, what level of Kedusha he's on, doesn't really matter. People who say the Sheva Brachot, hopefully that from who and certainly is crucial, they believe in God. The Masada Kedushin, as long as he knows what he's doing, fine. Who, who, which people are crucial, their level of observance of mitzvot must be impeccable? The answer is the witnesses. In order to be a kosher witness, whether in a court of law, in a beitin, or under the chuppah, or signing a document, signing a watching the Kedushin occur, aid a Kedushin. In order to be a kosher aid, the Shulchan says, you must be an observant Jew. And they'll say, Baruch Hashem, I'm an observant Jew. The Shulchan clarifies, this is in Siman Lamid Dalit in Hoshen Mishpat. An observant Jew is a person who is a Jew who observes Tayag mitzvot. There's not one mitzvah that he violates. Not a Doraita, not a Drabanan. Biblical, uh, a rabbinic iser, nothing. He has total commitment to every single halacha. Ah, the other day he slipped, he did something wrong, and, and he said something about another person or in business, he was not 100%. And, okay. He's not committed to this kind of act at all. He's committed to halacha, and he slipped. He did tshuva. He paid back the money. He's back on track. Fine. But Peshita, there's something he's not careful about. He just doesn't do that. Back in the day, kids would ask each other, Oh, are you me? Are you me?" A young man, 20-year-old, knowingly, he holds his girlfriend's hand. He's not shomer Nagiya. He's violating halacha, biblical halacha, according to many. A rabbinical halacha according to others. Either way, he is not observing one halacha. He might have other good things that he does and other prohibitions that he observes very well. He's not keeping this one. He cannot be an aid. So, in summary, an aid is a halachic Jew who is committed to all of Tayag Mitzvot Nikuda. Period. Doesn't mean he never had a, a, a slip. It means he's committed, and if he slips, he gets up, he does tshuva, he moves on. It's a real bracha to say to someone that you are halachically considered the kashrus level of an aid. Shalom.